Hello everyone, and welcome to a Love, Light & Learn Mini. My name is Trishan Renee Love, but since I'm a caring adult, you can call me Miss Love. Hello and welcome, hello and welcome. We're here together. Hello and welcome with love and welcome with light and welcome to learn together hello and welcome now let's go over to my soulful sofa to see what wonderful story we're gonna learn from today <laughs> all right friends are you ready to read i know i am get comfy it's listening time Let's turn up the volume on our ears. Can you hear me? Sweet. Now, let's turn down the volume on our mouths since we're listening. On the count of three, we're gonna put on our rockin' reading glasses so you can see the pictures or read along with me if you already know how. Ready? One, two, Three. Harry Jerome was born in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. He later moved and spent most of his life in the greater Vancouver area of British Columbia. Jerome played and was very, very good at many sports, including track and field, baseball, and football. He lived by the words, never give up. These are some great words to believe in, aren't they? When he was just 18 years old, he broke the Canadian 220-yard sprinting record. When he was 19 years old, he received worldwide attention by matching the Olympic world record of 10 seconds during the Canadian 100-meter semi-final race. So awesome! That summer, Jerome hurt his leg during the semi-final race at the Olympics in Rome, Italy, which meant that he did not make it into the finals. He was disappointed but he still didn't let that stop him from continuing to practice once he recovered from his injury. Two years later, he ran in the British Empire and Commonwealth Games, where, unfortunately, he came in last. People all over the world thought he would never compete again, but do you know what, everyone? He still didn't give up. Two more years later, he set a new world record of 9.1 seconds in the 100 meters dash in the British Empire and Commonwealth Games. Then, a year later, he won the gold medal at the 1967 Pan American Games. The next year, he ran again in the World Olympics and earned a spot in the finals. Although he did not place in the top three, it was still a great accomplishment given all of the injuries he suffered before this race. Harry Jerome is a great example of how successful anyone can be if they choose to never give up on their dreams and goals. Wow, all that reading made me thirsty. Let's take a sip of water from our clever cups. Delicious. I love learning and reading with you. Thank you for joining me with your big, beautiful smiles. Your good company brought so much love and light to this room. Okay, so we have a dash of love and a sprinkle of light, but hmm, what can we learn today? What's something that you never gave up on? Amazing learning today, friends. Reading is so much fun, isn't it? Keep up the excellent work. You all did such a great job. My name is Trishan Renee Love. Ah, yes, but since I'm a caring adult, you can call me Miss Love. See you next time. Be love, be light.